I'll come back to this, but these are your eyelids. Anybody know the fancy name for eyelids? Lepharum. Huh? Palpabrae. Oh, yeah. Palpabrae. And this is the medial side, this is the lateral side. On the back of the eyeball here, you can see the optic nerve. Okay. And so here is your optic nerve. The clear covering of the front of the eye is called the cornea. Mm -hmm. And then the white part is the sclera. Okay, so we have optic nerve, cornea, and sclera. We open this up. And for this, I'm actually going to go to this model because our cornea is missing from this one, so it makes it easier to work with. What's the colored part of your eye called? Iris. The iris. iris and the hole? Pupil. The pupil, you bet. Okay. Anybody know what this dark outer layer is? Huh. Choroid. This is the choroid. Oh, is that? Oh, yeah, there's a here. Yeah. And then if we open this up, oh boy. This little part here is the lens. Oh. This is the one adjustable part of the, the eye. You can adjust it. Is that behind the pupil? Yes. Okay. Yeah, here's the pupil. Okay. Light enters, it goes through the pupil, <coughs> through the lens. And okay. The back of the the space in front of the lens is the anterior cavity, and the space behind the lens is the posterior cavity. <coughs> when you dissect the sheet eyeball, you'll see that this is a thick jelly-like substance. This is called the vitreous body. Okay, vitreous body. The whole thing? Yep. Now, the part holding the lens in place, all around the lens, these are the ciliary bodies. So that white stuff there? No? Yeah, and the, like just these little red ridges. Okay. There are different parts there, but the ciliary bodies are the part we can see on the model. And then we have the retina, which is this tan layer in the back of the eye. The retina is in the front. Okay. So what are these? Palpebrae. Yep. Palpebrae. We'll come back to that when we do this. That's yeah. on the list. Okay, what's this? Cornea. Cornea. Sclera. Optic nerve. Optic nerve. Good. Iris. Iris. Pupil. 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 Choroid. Choroid, good. Lens. Lens, space in front of this. Anterior, Anterior. 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 Anterior cavity space behind. this posterior cavity which is filled by the vitreous body and this stuff The ciliary body and this. Retina. 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 That's it so far. It's coming. 
This is the lacrimal gland. What does lacrimal have to do with yeah. tears. tears? Okay, so here your tears are produced. Here are the uh, here are the excretory ducts. Those little yeah, the little lines. Excretory ducts. Okay, and then those tears flow across the eye. And these here are the lacrimal canals or lacrimal canicula. I believe your book just uses canals. These little white lines. And then on your sheet it says nasal lacrimal duct. It's more accurate to call this the lacrimal sac. Okay, so you might want to just cross out nasal lacrimal duct and instead write lacrimal sac. The nasal lacrimal duct is more would be down here, which isn't really shown on here. So lacrimal sac. Sac. Uh, the yellow foggy thing. And the eyelids, here's where that term for the eyelids are, the palpebrae. Of these muscles, don't worry, it's not too bad. Just remember that this is medial. Okay? So, and the, the many of the words are rectus because these fibers are straight. So this, this is a medial rectus. What do you think this is going to be? Lateral, Lateral rectus. rectus. What would you guess this? Superior, yeah. superior rectus and inferior. inferior rectus. Okay. And then we have two obliques. One inferior, one superior. Right. The inferior oblique. Remember, what does oblique mean? Cross. Cross or an angle. So here is our inferior oblique. There's a piece of it here also. And then the superior oblique, we can only see this part of the tendon. So we're doing it from this view. Well, superior mm -hmm. oblique. Right. So like this. Lacrimal gland. Inferior oblique. 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 Inferior